You can change the shape of a line by selecting one of the default stroke shapes from the drop-down menu in the freehand tool. For example, if I draw a normal line and change its size to 12 point, you'll see I can change it to any one of these shapes. Maybe you want a line shape like a drop or concave. or propeller or something even stranger like this. These shaped strokes continue to act just like normal lines. So for example I can continue this line and join it into a shape. Change the stroke color and edit my shape. These sorts of stroke shapes are useful for all sorts of images but particularly good for cartoon type images such as these simple graphics created entirely from lines. Now these stroke shapes have another useful application. They can be used to apply pressure profiles to brush strokes even if you don't have a pressure sensitive graphics tablet. So for example if I select the brush called paintbrush and draw a line you'll see a plain brush stroke. Doesn't look like there are any pressure effects. I'll apply a propeller line stroke and now it looks like I've eased off the pressure in the middle. Now if I edit this brush I can turn up the sensitivity of this brush design to pressure. In which case you'll see the apparent pressure effect on my line becoming even more noticeable. The transparency is also pressure sensitive so if I edit the pressure sensitivity of transparency for this particular brush design you'll see it fading out more where the profile of my line suggests the pressure would be greatest. In other words, you can achieve some very convincing pressure effects without having a pressure sensitive input device.